Viva tequila, Mexican food. Oh, see. Right here? No. King's Island. Turn right to King's Island Drive. King's Island Drive. It's a Harley dealership, yay. Okay, we're gonna have to turn left. So, aloha everybody and welcome to Mason, Ohio. And we are going to the island. The island, man. King's Island. parked next to a truck full of bad shitty music all right so we have made it to king's island abe. finally that's abe what that our rental car is abe there's our rental car so we know the license plate when we go yeah. back out there's our rental car abe, abe 9640 volkswagen abe from arizona <laughs> abe from arizona <laughs> yep we finally made it to king's island I've been wanting to go here for over 30 years, and shit, I had no reason to ever come to Ohio until your dad moved here. So yeah, finally here, finally here. And we've got a uh, cool new ride that came out last summer, Banshee. So I'm stoked to get on that. We got Fast Pass Plus, and our uh, tickets are all prepaid. We paid for them in Carson City online. We've had them a few weeks. Jesus. So yeah, here we are. Kings Island. Here on the Reeds Bud channel. Five minutes. Five minutes to opening. Boom, 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 boom. I like this music. <laughs> This is the kind of music for gay men with thumb rings and and faggot beards. The hipster beards and the skinny jeans. And the button-up plaid shirts. And the Converse shoes. Banshee. Right on. Well, it looks like about rope drop right now. Wow, what a beautiful entrance. Beautiful entrance. That is gorgeous. Wow, what a beautiful park. Okay, time to get her fast pass. All right, we are in. We are in like Flynn. We got a fast pass. So yeah, we're on our way to Banshee, first thing. 
There'll probably be a huge line too. Doubt I'll be able to get onboard footage of any of this stuff. Uh, from what I understand, the rules are pretty enforced these days at any amusement park as far as bringing cameras on, on board the ride. So, But yeah, I'll get some killer off-ride footage though for you guys. All I know is I'm stoked to be here, finally. I'm gonna ride the Beast. I've been wanting to ride that since like 1979, since it came out. So yeah, hell yeah. It's a gorgeous day today too. Nice and calm, a little bit hazy out. Not too hot, it's probably only about 80. Look at that, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I'm getting excited now. What a nice park. Cedar Fair is top notch, I'll tell you what. So I just went on Banshee. I just went on Banshee three times in a row. Ooh, that looks good. Oh yeah, look at that cheese. Oh yeah. That's why we make it home. Yeah. Spaghetti and chili. Nice spaghetti and chili. So yeah, three consecutive rides on Banshee. No wait, not a single wait. It was awesome. I rode the middle, the front, and the back. The first time on it, I rode the front. What an intense roller coaster that is. Well worth the 2,000 mile trip here in, in itself. Uh, Banshee is a bad motherfucker, I'll tell you. Holy shit. I got a headache and a stiff neck from that son bitch. <laughs> you guys want to go? Where are we going to a ride? We're just going. Look at that beautiful fountain. I'm not going to jump in it. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous entry. This is such a beautiful park. People can have their Disneyland. This is a this is a real park here. Disneyland is a money grubbing fucking hellhole, pack full of people. Look at how pretty this place is. There's actually elbow room. Friendly people that work here. A f the fast lane is well worth the money. I'm totally stoked. Totally. But you sure can't get away from fuck bucks anywhere. Look at that. There's a fuck bucks every time you turn around. There's a fuck bucks. Yeah, nice park. Cedar Fair, you do it right. That's for sure. It's too bad Cedar Fair doesn't buy Magic Mountain. Because that's my home park. That's where I grew up. That's where I worked for five years as a ride operator. And that park is nowhere near as nice as this one. Not bad for a June day. June 11th. We have a humid for what we're used to. And you know what today is, don't you? King Kamehameha Day. Uh, it is. We're celebrating. Yeah, so we're celebrating King Kamehameha Day here uh, at Kings Island. So aloha to my Hawaiian friends. My Hawaiian ho ohana. Wish you were here. Well, 
So happy King Kamehameha Day. That is Vortex. That uh, that's fine with me. I, well, you said you want to get to the beast, but I don't know where you can I think with these fast passes we'll be a okay. And there's Windseeker. Are you gonna ride Windseeker? No. Oh come on! It's just a it's just a spinny chair. I don't care. It's up too high. A silly little spinny chair. It just spins you so just so high in the sky. I just love the spinny chairs. <laughs> yeah, over here we got Vortex, which is a aero aerodynamics ride. No, that's the racer. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the original uh, coasters here at Kings Island. It was even featured in uh, Brady Bunch. The Brady Bunch came to Kings Island. And they lost their, what was it, a poster of Pink Panther? Got mixed up with uh, the dad's, blueprints. yeah, the dad's blueprints. Hey, and Peter it? smoked a big hit of crack yeah. and he got lost in the park. And they had to call EMTs because he had a bad trip. You remember that? Oh. Yeah. Honey. That fucking Peter Brady and his crack, I'll tell ya. There's Diamondback over there. Well, just take me somewhere. Let's go. Let's go on Diamondback. We'll, we'll we'll find the beast eventually. There's something wooden down there. That's the another hill of the racer. Okay. Well, so we're kind of aimlessly wandering around the park. May as well hit the big stuff first. And I think we'll go on another B and M Lovely. We'll hit Diamondback here. And this is uh, I forget what this one's called. Something stunt coaster or something like that. Good old classic bumper cars here. All right, here's the map because we're just walking around aimlessly. That's we're right side. here, so we got to go over here. What's this one? That's Vortex. And this one? That's that's Diamondback, and that's the Beast right there. That's the Beast. Yeah. You said this, Vortex. This right here. Oh, that's Vortex, and that's the Beast. Got it. There you go. So, so we just gotta we just gotta go off and veer right. So we we went the wrong way. We went to Planet Snoopy. Oh, so yeah. Good. So okay. We go to Planet Snoopy. That's a neat interactive map. So we're gonna go behind the. Yeah, we're just following around this way. Okay, we'll figure it out one of these days. That one girl had a map she was carrying. Really? Yeah. What if they charge you for it? I doubt that. You probably just have to pick them up at, up front. I didn't see any place. Yeah. Well, Diamondback and the Beast are two more and Vortex. Oh, wait, there was only two in the beginning. It was Banshee and the Beast. Now ba there's four. Banshee and the Beast. And then Diamondback or Banshee. Now and four. But we're going to keep it B&M. So we're going to go on Diamondback next because I have a feeling that's the next closest queue line. So like there? Yeah, we'll just go here and then go that way. Okay. Backlot Stunt Coaster. That's what that one's called. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. You're riding little Mini Coopers. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not scary. No, that one's not scary. Yeah. Banshee is not scary, but it sure is intense. No, that one part where your whole train goes, turns over. A heart line roll. Yeah. Is that what it's yeah. Uh, your whole body comes out of the seat and you're thinking, I'm going to fly away. Oh, yeah. And the whole time I'm thinking, God damn, this is... These are heavy trains full of bolts and nuts and... And we've seen what those Oh, it, you really think about the engineering aspect of it. Not like when I was a teenager, though. You just rode the damn thing and enjoyed it. But the entire time, I'm thinking of the engineering aspect of the ride and how it could come apart or yeah. how it could tear a weld because that's of the... <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what I think. <laughs> There's our bumper cars. I get nervous. Oh, God, please don't let me down. Boy, what a nice park. So it cost us, what, $110 a piece? I think, yeah, it's 110 bucks a piece with a fast lane plus. They have two, two levels of fast lanes, a fast lane regular, but that doesn't include Banshee or Delirium or Firehawk, I believe. Uh, Firehawk is a, a 
suspended, or not a suspended coaster, but a flying coaster. I forget who manufactures that one. Okay. But uh, yeah, and then the Fastlane Plus includes everything. And it's already been useful because I had three consecutive rides on Banshee with a long line for the regular folks and absolutely zero weight for me on uh, with the Fastlane Plus. So definitely worth the money. There's Vortex, a beautiful arrow classic right there. Kind of like Viper at Magic. I have a Viper's a little bit of a better ride though. Alright. All right. What is that place? I can tell by the building. Oh, it used to be. I don't think it is anymore. I don't know, maybe it is. Like a Johnny Rockets. Nope, the jukebox. I think it used to be a Johnny, Johnny Rockets. Rockets. Yeah. They pulled out of it. Oh, it's getting warm now. Glad we have sunscreen. Yeah, but I forgot to put sunscreen here. Ah. Yeah. What a what a gorgeous midway. Do you think people would be used to seeing people with GoPros these days? I don't see anybody but, with a GoPro. But everybody keeps giving me looks. Not bad looks, just confused looks. I think I'm the only one walking around vlogging. Here on the Reeds Bud channel. Kings Island. Oh yeah. Windseeker. They don't make it easy to they don't make it easy to find the rides, do they? Well, the entrance. Want to ride Vortex? Aren't we? Yeah. We're here. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, we're hitting Vortex now. I'll come back at you. Okay, consensus is Vortex is one hell of a headbanger, but a beautiful classic aerodynamics right there. What a gorgeous ride, but that thing is a, that'll beat the living crap out of you, that ride. <laughs> so we've determined that one's a headbanger. No, that's a dead end right there. Okay, we're trying to figure out how to get the diamond back. Where's the diamond back? Diamond back is this one. And this is what? This is Windseeker. It isn't even, oh, okay. So it's way out. <coughs> So we gotta go back this way. <coughs> oh yeah, don't wear the vortex anymore. I'm headache all day. You got a headache now? Yeah, bad. Like I said, the vortex is a headbanger. I pushed my head back as hard as I could to keep it straight. But bam, 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 yeah. going between the bar. It's that aerodynamics turns. Oh. It's the Ron Tumor design. It gives you a tumor. That's not gonna be a tumor. <laughs> it's not a tumor. All right, we're trying to we're trying to find uh, Diamond back and the Beast next. So here's another shot of Vortex, the headbanger. Vortex, the headbanger. But if you're into heavy metal, it's perfect. I love this element right here, the bat wing element. I'm waiting for it to come through here. Yeah. Oh yeah, head banging all the way. Yeah, I got a slight headache from that one. Here comes the corkscrew. Great elements on this on this bad boy though. Into the helix.
Vortex. Hella nice. Well, I'm taller than you, and it beat the shit out of my head, so it's not just you. I don't. There's the stunt coaster. Yeah, right now? Okay. Looks like we're going on the back lot stunt coaster. And then we'll head on over to Diamondback, and then hopefully the Beast afterwards. Yeah. We don't have to come back. Little Mini Coopers. <laughs> awesome. I've never ridden a coaster like this one. Be my first time. All right, I'll come back at you. Uh, what's your consensus on the backlot oh, stunt? Backlot stunt coasters kick ass. Very kick ass. Nice little launcher. Better than you think. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, it's, it's kind of a kiddie ride, but it's better than you it's, think. It's cute as hell. There's the launch right there. Yeah, cool little ride. Definitely a cool little ride. Little dark area. You go inside of a building, some of it. And I like it. I like it a lot. All right, we're headed over to the Diamondback now. The, the Diamondback. Yeah, get some B&M goodness on us. And then off to the beast. There we go. This is the next one. I smell uh, wood, oil wood or something. Smell that? It smells like railroad ties. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. It's got a splash down. It's got a splash down at the end. I don't care. I don't like that one. Gonna get wet? Um, maybe misty. That one has very easy seats. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you, if you rode Banshee, you can ride this no. one. Here's the beast over here. Should we go there? Uh, there? I kind of want to go on this one first since it was so hard to find. I think you're going to have to go. Whoa. Just yeah, all over my camera. Oh, got to wipe you off. Got a little misty. And I'm not in the waterproof case either. We'll get you taken care of here. Got a little moist. A little moist on the lens. Yeah, um, I'm going to say you're going to have to go by yourself. I don't like that one. <laughs> Hi, how's it going? Planet Snoopy. What's up, what's up? Oh, CHS, bro. Right. <laughs> Whatever. What do you say? Was that guy claiming a gang? Looked like a friggin' jock straight out of high school. Okay, diamond back, my friends. All right, diamond back. Finally found it. Turn it off. Give me your stuff. You gonna wait? You're seriously not gonna ride? I'm not riding that. All right, looks like I'm going on Diamondback alone and the Wahine staying behind. So I'll come back at you when I get off this bad mofo. Okay, the consensus is Diamondback is friggin' kick ass. Hella airtime on that thing. And the splash down at the end, nice and refreshing. Yeah, it was sweet. But Boo Boo wouldn't ride Diamondback. Why? I didn't like the seat. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, almost a floorless roller coaster. It's sweet. Ugh, love it. Yeah, I can see my seat just Love it. There's the, there's the drop right there. It's not the tallest, that's for sure, but it's definitely not the shortest. It's 
pretty kick ass. Pretty kick ass. So I rode it twice, once in the front and once in the back, and of course the back always is the best. The back kicks ass. I think Beast is over here, so we're gonna head up the Beast next. Yeah, friggin' awesome. Yeah, that's definitely a uh, beautiful B&M right there. That's the Cadillac roller coasters B&M. This time head. I'll tell you what, I'm not as young as I used to be. Yeah, I'm 45 years old, but I can ride with the best of them. But it takes a different toll on your Whoo, I got a headache. And my neck is killing me. Here they come. Yeah. All right, here we are at the Beast. I've been wanting to go on this since 1979, since I was a nine years old. Finally here, the Beast, my friends. Yeah, it's about time. I'm stoked. Definitely stoked. This right here is the world's longest wooden roller coaster. And it has been since since 1979. Oh, the shade feels good. It got hot here now. What time is it? It's around 12.30 in the noon times. Here's the back half of Vortex here. The head smasher. The Head Smasher Special. Oh. Yeah, I hurry because the execute will start running into you. Ah, the beast. I can't believe I'm here. It's pretty awesome. I'll tell you what, today uh, hasn't been a problem with lines. This fast pass is kick ass. What, what a, it's totally worth the extra money. Even though the, the regular lines aren't too bad either. But yeah. Like, as of all the rides, uh, I apologize, but I can't take you with me. So I'm gonna turn you off and I'll come back at you. All right, we're back. Uh, the beast was awesome, but holy crap, that thing is rough. That beat the living snot out of us. I feel like I've been shook, shook to my bones by that thing. <laughs> yeah, intense. Great ride. It's a great ride. But I don't think I'll be riding that one again. I'm going to stick to the steel coasters. I think the beast is kind of showing its age as far as smoothness. There ain't nothing smooth about that. <laughs> nothing smooth about the beast. Okay, we're going to head back across the park to our locker, our $14 locker, to get her phone so we can call the vet slash kennel to check on Karma Girl. That's where Karma's staying while we're here in Ohio. And get some water, have a chooch, and recharge a little bit. Get some shade, because we're burning up. What the? Uh, hey, I'm here again. Hey, there she is, there she is. <laughs> I 
Yeah, oh, there's a drinking fountain. I got. I, I need a water immediately. Stat. We'll bring on the splashdown. The splashdowns kick ass. Natural break. Awesome. All right, get some water. Oh, there's Firehawk over there. That's oh, are you getting me in your picture? Right there. Say yeah. hello. Uh -huh. You're on YouTube. Oh, yay! <laughs> Nice picture of Banshee's drop right there, first drop. Banshee's way better than anything else so far. Banshee is the best ride in the park, I agree. So far. But uh, Backlot Stunt Coaster was kick ass. Yeah. Vortex was a headbanger, but still good in the classic aerodynamics. Uh, the Beast, oh man. I, I'm not disappointed on the beast after all these years, 30 plus years waiting to ride it, but it's so friggin' rough, I, I just can't stand or bear to ride it again. So I get one ride on it and that's it. Not like my three on Banshee and then I rode Diamondback twice, once in the front, once in the back. Diamondback is beautiful, smooth and no, gnarly airtime on it. The airtime on Diamondbacks kick ass. So, Banshee and Diamondback are uh, number one and number two in the park so far. We got a lot of great people that work here. Really nice staff and ride operators. A lot of them are look very happy to be doing their job, which counts for a lot. Definitely. So I appreciate that. Cedar Point runs, or uh, Cedar Fair runs a class operation, for sure. For sure. Six Flags can suck it. They don't have anything compared to Cedar Fair. I just wish I could film uh, on rides, but uh, you guys can go to other uh, channels like uh, Theme Park Review or Coaster Force. Uh, sharp productions and see the rides first point the first POVs so now we're looking for flight of fear and firehawk we're gonna need a chiropractor after this place <laughs> man I can't get over how rough the beast is oh, man that thing is a neck breaker all right flight of fear and firehawk Oh, I like how the entry is underneath the racer. I don't know if I'm going to ride the racer. I'll tell you what, uh, I think I'm done with wooden coasters. Unless they uh, do a topper track on that beast. That's what that, the beast needs. It needs a refurb with a, with a topper track. And I don't know what Flight of Fear is, but the uh, Firehawk is a flying coaster. A flying Dutchman style. I forget who manufactures it. Vacoma, I believe. I believe it's a Vacoma. It puts you in a Vacoma. I have no idea. I wonder what the hell Flight of Fear is. I wonder if it makes you piss yourself. I wonder if it makes you shit your pants. It's like, oh, do they make you lay down? Yeah. Uh -uh. That's why I figured you weren't going to ride it. It lays you down on your back and then it flips you over once it gets to the top of the lift. All right.
That doesn't look that intense. Oh my. Okay. Boy, we're just getting bashed around. Um, what was it? Firehawk. It was a, a Flying Dutchman coaster, a Vacoma Flying Dutchman. Uh, it was fun, but uh, not real comfortable. And it's hot as shit now. And going up that lift, I was just burning up. But then we, we got this flight of fear here. I'm not sure what the hell that was, but it was awesome. Smooth and it was indoor. Uh, probably a five or six loop roller coaster. I'm not sure how many loops it had. <laughs> but it was a launcher. It launched you right into the, the building and it was, you know, all dark and it was nice and cool in there. Smooth ride. Good ride. Flight of Fear. I recommend it. It's very bitchin'. I didn't even didn't even know about this ride. Didn't even know what it was. So pleasantly surprised. What about you? It was good. I like the, the launch. Yeah, the launch is kick ass. Launched roller coasters are awesome. Yeah, I like them better than that. Definitely. You can play, but when you win, you get whatever you want. You guys wanna give it a try? On you two again. Hey, hey! <laughs> right on! Oh, she got a good. She got a good memory. <laughs> well, she wants to be famous. My channel's the wrong channel for her to be on. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are enjoying uh, our time here at the Kings Island. I know we are. Designated smoking area. Time for a chooch. Gotta have a chooch. Just gonna say, I gotta add uh, more kudos to Cedar Fair for not alienating its smoking customers and sticking them in some shitty corner, making them look like little fucking douchebags, puffing off cigarettes in a dirty little area of the park. So, they definitely have uh, cool smoking areas here. You can definitely see the attitudes different towards smokers here in the eastern United States than it is in California cake land California because uh, like Disneyland they stick you in a shitty little corner of the park and uh, I don't know it just it isn't uh, it isn't as smoker friendly as, as this park yeah appreciate it see your fair thanks for uh, letting us chooch and chooch in uh, comfort For sure. Yeah, they've got about, uh, I'd say probably six smoking areas here. And uh, it's all landscaped. Uh, it's nice, very nice. So I guess next we're gonna get some food and then hit the wind seeker. Wanted to ride one of those for a few years. Hopefully it won't break down. The wife's getting beat down. You getting beat down? Her eyes are hurting her. She thinks she's got sunburn on her eyes. We just had a, a bacon cheeseburger and she had a big old hot dog at the Shake, Rattle and Roll, which looks like it used to be a Johnny Rockets. It was pretty good, not too bad. Pretty expensive, $30 for a hot dog and a bacon cheeseburger, but whatever. We're only gonna eat here just the once today. That, that's it. and. Uh, we're going to try and stay until it closes, but I don't know if we'll make it or not, so we'll see. But next ride I'm going on is the Wind Seeker. I've never been on one of those before. It looks really cool. And, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like. This bad boy right here. It just spins around and around way up there. I don't know how tall that is. I'd say 200 feet maybe. So yeah, that's what I'm going on next. That'd be pretty sweet. There it goes. There it goes, my friends. Pretty friggin' sweet.
It's even prettier at night. That thing's got LED lighting all over it. I've seen on Coaster Bob 62 channel. That guy makes some awesome videos. Shout out to Coaster Bob 62. One of the reasons why I'm at this park today because of his fantastic videos highlighting how nice this park really is. Kings Island is awesome. Beautiful park. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, honey won't ride it with me. So it looks like an, another solo ride for me. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm doing next. Well, Windseeker was bitching. This is actually kind of scary. I think we're going to go on the racer next. Yeah. So I guess I guess we'll ride one more Woody today. The racer is a classic, so they got to we got to ride that one. So yeah. Windseeker. Windseeker's bitching, but actually it's a bit scary. You, you that doesn't look very high, but when you're on that sucker, man, you're up there. And the wind starts blowing, and it's it's a bit, bit unnerving. Like I said earlier, I always think about the engineering aspects of these rides, and all I can think about is that damn swing detaching from the friggin' structure there and just flinging me out over vortex or some shit. <laughs> yeah, so this is the next one, the racer keeps getting cloudy and then sunny and then cloudy. I prefer cloudy. Yes. <laughs> all in all, I didn't realize how hot it could get in Ohio. Same as home. Wow. Their weather's pretty much the same. Yeah. More humidity here yeah, than in yeah, than in definitely. Nevada. <laughs> but I mean like temperature wise. Yeah. I'd say it's almost around 90 degrees right now. What time is it? Four o'clock. We've been here for seven hours. No, six hours. We came in at ten. So four o'clock. I rode a lot of shit. Almost everything I've wanted to ride here for the most part. Oh well, yeah, I'm gonna hit up the racer and maybe take a trip ride on the train. Here's the racer. Maybe we'll see Peter Brady strung out on crack. He was. You don't remember that? He wasn't strung out on crack. Yeah. And he was inappropriately touching um, Cindy. And Mike was Mike Brady was mad at him because Mike Brady actually wanted Peter because he was a closet queer. Remember that? Closet. Yeah. He was supposedly married to uh, Mrs. Brady, but secretly he wanted to be married to Greg and Peter at the same time. but they couldn't show that on TV in those days. Nowadays, they can just show any of that shit. He was a hoto. Poor guy. The racer. Okay, we just got off the racer. It was another, another brain basher. Holy crap. What do you think? The consensus is wood coasters suck. <laughs> They, oh, they beat the living shit out of you. Not as bad as, as the beast. But I'll tell you, I don't remember, maybe it's because we're old now, but I don't remember getting my ass kicked by roller coasters this much. Still having fun, but these rides are kicking our ass. And man, I've got a headache. Holy shit. So I think I'm gonna ride Delirium again. Hit up Banshee one more time. We're gonna ride the we're gonna ride the train. Is that where we're going now? I need a drink of water. Yeah, the racer. It's a good one if you want your brains bashed in. <laughs> now we walked all the way back over here again when we need to go over here. We were up here. We need to go by where Diamondback is again, huh? 
Looks they, like it. If they're having another chooch before we go on the train, there's another smoking area here. Nice and shady. Got benches and everything. Do a good job. Oh, it feels good in here. Yeah. Another nice smoking area for the, the smoking guests here at Kings Island. Definitely nice. Chooch it. That's the neck chopper. The head, head basher. Chopper. Yeah, the head chopper. Chop, chop, chop. <laughs> you know, have you ever seen that stuff? It's for sure. Yeah, it's the kids in the hall. One of the greatest shows ever on, on TV. Yeah, I squish your head. I squish it. Okay, we're going for for one more run on the vortex here. Get a little vortex video action for you. Even though we don't want you to ride Unless you're tall. If you're a headbanger, ride the ride. If you're not a headbanger, stay away. This will bash your head in. I don't care how rough it is, it's still a bitchin' ride. up. Yeah, I got sunburn. Yeah, I got sunburn too. Luckily we put sunscreen on. Yeah, oh, I'd be one one burned honky right here. Yeah, I'd be a crispy howley. Crispy crispy fried howley. Okay, we're looking for the train depot for the Kings Island and Miami Railroad. There we go. All aboard. Thrill ride level low. Finally, a little relaxing ride to go on. It's too bad, we can't get away from this music anywhere. It's even in the damn train. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was a stoic looking crowd on that train. 
I think everybody's got heat stroke here today. Did we already make a loop? Did we already make a loop? No, we want to get Oh, okay. Oh, there's a water park. I want to go in there. Included in the price of admission to Kings Island, which is a killer deal. And here's our first stop. Whoa. Oh. Bye bye. There is no eating, drinking, or smoking, and he must be wearing shoe shorts and a shirt. That's just about it. Well, you got a really nice water right park. River Town. Bless you. Welcome to Kings Island Soap City Water Park. If you guys look over to your right, you'll see Old Port Coney. Now inside Old Port Coney is a house from the property along the Kings Island itself. It's just over a hundred years old. They even say that it's haunted by a little ghost girl by the name of Missouri Jane, who lives inside the house and likes to haunt the drinks at night. She was even featured on an episode of Ghost Hunters back in 2012. Huh. <laughs> I think that's where they found Peter Brady. Yeah, he was caught him with a crack pipe in there. The, the Rady Bunch was in the 70s. But when they were... Whatever. God. Yeah. I think that's where they found him eventually. He had a $20 rock and a broken crack pipe. And he had no Brillo. So he couldn't smoke it. Yeah. That Peter Brady. What a crackhead. Real baked? Do not feed the bear. Don't feed bear. Also on your right is the Whitewater Canyon Station, so as we pass by you with a smile and a wave, it might just smile and wave back. What the hell? Some odd theming. Some antlers on the top of a generator. <laughs> I don't get it. She looks like she's having a ton of fun now, huh? Kings all the people tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. and the train will be closing at 9. So on behalf of the entire train crew, thank you for riding the train today. I hope I don't have a heat stroke while heating. Here at Kings Island. Once again, please stay seated. My eyes, they've taken my eyes. I wasn't making fun of you, honey. Here we are, Los Santosville. Oh. Oh my lord. Well, that concludes our ride. It's a nice train. That is a nice train. All right. That's the slowest ride we've done all day. Very nice. Nice train. Nice train. Just finished another ride on Diamondback and the Backlot Stunt Coaster. And every ride with, we're going on now is just giving us a headache. I think we're old. I think we're officially old. Uh, it's starting to get dark. We've been here, I think I said already, eight hours. It's six o'clock. And I think we're going to finish the night with another ride on Banshee. I'll risk getting another headache. What, honey? I can't do it. It's hurting too much. <laughs> The Wahini's in bad shape, <laughs> and I'm, I'm not far behind her, that's for sure. Like I said, I think we're getting old, but uh, yeah, we'll finish the uh, night out here uh, riding Banshee, Delirium, and the Bat. Haven't been on the Bat yet, which is an arrow suspended coaster. Not many of them left in this uh, world, so I got to get some ride time in on that and get the credit. Oh, yeah.
Uh, it's been repainted, so it looks really nice. Renamed. I forget what the light name of it was before. I think it was called Flight Deck. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're gonna finish our night out, and then we'll get out of here. I don't. I don't think we're gonna stay till close. We're gonna go get our hotel room, which is about oh about a half mile away, and maybe we'll have some dinner at the Waffle House. Never even heard of the place, so sounds good. We'll check it out. So we're going to head on on over to Banshee again. So we'll catch you over there. Bye bye. One more, one more time for Banshee. Yeah, starting to feel burned out. I thought we could make it open to close. Yeah, if we were 18 again. <laughs> <laughs> if I was 18 again, I could last 24 hours straight at an amusement park. Oh yeah, no problem. Not anymore. No fucking way. Never think that. Yeah, I'm feeling 45 today. It's all good. I can still ride with the best of them. And Delirium, kick ass. Neat ride. I've been wanting to go on one of those for a few years since those came out. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, I guess I'm gonna go ride Delirium real quick. All right, just got off my uh, third ride on Delirium. Uh, a Hus Giant Frisbee. Boy, those things are fun. Uh, 76 miles an hour that thing hits. Fucking insane. I love it. And I didn't get a headache from that one. It's the negative G's that are giving me a headache today. I don't know what the deal is with that, but uh, whatever. I'm willing to work, risk the headache to have the thrill. So, shoot a little video here of the Frisbee in action. Yeah, kick-ass ride. I guess this one was built in 2002. So it's been here a while. I've never ridden one until today. I friggin' love it. Delirium. Seriously awesome. All right, I guess I'll be hitting uh, Banshee for my last ride or two. We'll see what happens. And uh, then, I'll, then I'll hit the bat, and then we'll end our evening there. Yeah. Yeah, out of all the rides here today, I figured Banshee would be the one she didn't want to ride. That's the one she loves. Best damn ride in the park. Absolutely. Yeah, Banshee's worth the price of admission in itself. Okay, go. Okay, I'm going on the Banshee.
all I can see from here. So we'll just wait for him to get off the ride. All right. I just finished my sixth ride on Banshee. I think I'm done with that for now. For now. And uh, I'm going to go ride one last ride, and that will be the bat. And I think we're going to wrap up the day from there. What are you doing? Getting a drink? Vlogging? Hey! Anyway, I'm going to go on the bat if I can find it. The uh, aerodynamics uh, suspended coaster like um, like Ninja. Ah, oh, Ninja! Hey, I can't leave the park without riding that. So... I don't do shuttle coasters. They bore me. So I'm not going to ride this one. And in vertigo, yeah. I don't know where the hell the bat is. It's a nice coaster, though. Huh. It's got to be around here somewhere. We'll find it. We'll find it. Yeah, I met a nice, nice kid uh, riding the last uh, circuit there on uh, Banshee. Oh. We got something on the lens. Anyway, met a nice kid that's a ride operator here at Banshee. He was riding on his on his off time. Really nice kid. I forget what his name was. I don't anyway. think he ever get. Anyway, we talked that's shot so shit good. about uh, past ride operators and and present ride operators, and he knew a lot about B and M coasters and kind of a kind of a coaster nerd guy, Thank you. which is cool. Nothing wrong with that. Like me? Am I a coaster nerd? Yes. <laughs> yeah, Banshee. That's my favorite ride. Oh. It's it, and it's purple. It, oh, yeah. That helps. It's just a go. Oh, I see the bat sign over there. Yeah, that's, that's the best damn ride I've ever been on. For sure. Better than Space Mountain. Better than Space Mountain. Way better than Space Mountain. Oh. Space Mountain's a fantastic ride, but it ain't the caliber of this. I'll tell you what, that Flight of Fear, the Flight, the flight of Fear gives uh, good, Space Mountain a run for its money. Yeah. 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 But this is the best coaster. Yeah. Yeah. Banshee's amazing. Even I like it. B&M build it. A 10 right there. Boy, did they ever. Yeah. And that loop around the lift, classic. Just like Riddler's. Yeah. What a what an awesome ride. Lose your shorts. Got myself a banshee shirt. <laughs> Lime green. Because we like the green. There's the bat way out there. Like I was saying earlier, it used to be called Flight Deck. And the uh, story behind this is they had the first original aero uh, suspended coaster here called the Bat back in, I think it was 83. And it was a big failure and broke down and just, it wasn't uh, developed enough and they tore it down. And then they built Flight Deck years later and uh, they uh, just renamed it, this one, the Bat, in honor of the old school ride. And gave it a paint job and everything. So, I don't know where the wife went. Where did my Wahini go? Where'd she go? 
little video of the bat up close here. Fantastic, fantastic ride. These are a dying breed right here. I wish they'd build them again. Yeah, I wish they'd build these again. Unfortunately, we'll probably never ever see an, another suspended coaster like this built. I imagine the parts are getting hard to find for it. It's hard to keep these suckers alive. But yeah. I'd say it's almost as good as Ninja. Almost. It's got a bitchin' station. It's got a great tree line it travels through. It's pretty quick. So I don't think it's as fast as Ninja. I think Ninja is 55 miles an hour, and I think this one's 45 miles an hour. But yeah, great, great area that this is located in the park. It's really pretty. I know. Great canopy that it travels through. What a beautiful park. I can't say that enough. Kings Island is, is top notch. Very, very nice place. Very, very nice time I've had here. Uh, Kings Island should be proud of their employees. They provide a good experience to the customer. What's that? Yeah. I'm in the way of everybody exiting. Cause I'm blabbing. But yeah, good way to end the day. Are you video bombing me? Really? <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I can't wait to watch this back. Ah, I will. I will. And then I'm going to put it on YouTube and then you guys can see it. Oh, I want to be on YouTube like <laughs> vlog or something. Yeah. 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 Check out the Reed's Bud channel. So yeah, I think that's the last, last ride of the day, my friends. I think we're going to call it quits as the sun goes down in Kona Town. I mean in Mason Town. Yeah. <laughs> I need a chooch. Say what's up, what's up? Hi! <laughs> no, no, I've had enough for today, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, can't believe I'm saying it, but I've had enough. <laughs> What a great place. This is the best amusement park experience I've had in, in decades. Since we worked at Magic Mountain. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, back when that park was a good place. It's a former shell of itself, I'll tell you that. They don't run a class act operation like this place. Class act. Banshee. I would have taken you up in the Eiffel Tower, but the Wahini won't go up in the Eiffel Tower. I don't do heights. <laughs> She'll ride Banshee, but she won't go in the Eiffel Tower. Somehow that makes no sense to me. <laughs> That's too funny. All right. I think we're done for the day now. Yep. Tell you what, uh, the crowds weren't bad. This was worth every penny, even though the lines for the rides were short for just the general, you know, without a fast pass. Uh, I don't, have, I don't even have the patience level to stand in a line, you know, half an hour long. So, fast pass plus is the way to go if you have no patience, like me. Uh, the locker was 
14 Let's bucks, see. but uh, well worth the money if you want to bring your phone and not lose it and your wallet and your purse and all that good stuff. So I must say it was a good day. We're done, right? We're going. Let's make right? sure everything is out of here. We're done, right? We're going, right? We're going. Get one last shot of the fountains over here. If we had known how how this park you know it's traits or whatever however your characteristics on how uh, operating days go because it's our first time here we would have come later in the afternoon instead of opening time and stayed through the evening when it was cool out and stuff i just expected hordes of people here and you know just madhouse you know choke people in line and stuff not that was not the case not the case at all yeah, we would have stayed until closing time and enjoyed the nice cool evening, so. Here's the last shot of the fountains and the beautiful entry to Kings Island. And we're gonna make our way out to the parking lot and get in our, our convection oven vehicle. And we got a half mile to travel to our hotel. We're spending the night, because we got a two and a half hour, two hour and 15 minute, two and a half hour drive back to Gallipolis on the West Virginia border here in Ohio and we'll be staying until oh Tuesday so Kings Island friggin rules fantastic park yeah fantastic park Did you have fun honey even though you were in medical Distress. My eyes feel better because <laughs> I was going without my glasses all day. And because it was so fucking hot. And, and you, because I'm sunburned you, like crazy. You got sunburned. Yeah, that's what I was trying to tell you. I know. I didn't get too sunburned. <laughs> right on, man. Excellent day. All right, my friends, this is my last clip for our trip here to Kings Island. So I want to thank you for joining us, right, honey? On our huge headache uh, making rides here. Once again, I apologize for no ride footage, you know, on ride footage. I did the best I could getting uh, off ride footage. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. And I bid you an aloha here in Mason, Ohio at Kings Island. Aloha my friends, aloha.